All right, so what you guys are watching right now is a story mission on legendary, which means all the enemies are my level, all the enemies are red bars, and not only that, but everything is getting eaten alive by arc abilities and mainly my arc SMG. This is a crazy new arc SMG, very similar to the unforgiving, but in arc. And as you can see, it is literally shredding anything and everything in this story mission on a legendary it doesn't matter if it's red bars doesn't matter if it's orange bars doesn't matter if it's yellow bars this thing is just literally shredding everything on top of that i don't know if you guys are noticing but also the rechargeability of my abilities like always they're coming back pretty quickly and the abilities on arc seem to be a well at least mainly the grenade seems to be very very strong mainly the storm grenade one mostly if you have jolting abilities uh, another thing you really want to pay attention to is that that i'm not really reloading the weapon and when i do reload it i reload it extremely fast so i always have the option of not reloading it and then again when i do decide to reload it if i do it properly i get to reload insanely fast and again like i mentioned pay attention to the abilities they're just always coming back crazy damage output from my melee crazy damage output from my weapon crazy heals from the melee which is a little scary to be honest but whenever you need to heal all you gotta do is punch uh or shoulder charge and you will heal and another thing we have is the one two punch combo so if you really need to take care of those big major dudes or even a pile of big major dudes because of how shoulder charge works not only are you doing a one two punch just so that one target but i believe you're also doing one two punch to the surrounding targets because if you notice right now the enemies around are also taking a big chunk of melee damage so really really amazing build so let's go ahead and get into it all right so getting to the actual build the first thing we're going to start off with is the smg very similar to our void one this is how we're getting a lot of damage out of the weapon and it is because of golden tricorn you get a 50 percent damage buff when you set it up properly we're getting a grave robber which is as long as we defeat a target with our melee is going to reload our weapon so it goes really really well with the arc titan and the fact that we have golden tricorn armor priestly round it goes through targets i've seen this many times it does go through targets so in a way you're going to be doing double damage so really really awesome perk to have in pve and finally these two perks i'm not really a big fan of i would like to have a range masterwork and hammer forge to get more range out of it but that is the setup that we got for this weapon uh, for the shotgun, we have the Wastelander. With the Wastelander, we're rocking the one-two punch. We're rocking the plug list. Uh, assault mag for faster fire rate and full choke for a tighter uh, pellets. Um, for the master rook, we went range. That is the shotgun. That's how we're doing the crazy damage with the shot uh, with the shoulder charge. Moving on to the stats that I recommend for this arc build, I definitely recommend 100% resilience first. The next one I recommend is recovery. I know some of you guys might be a little iffy on the recovery because as long as you're punching, you're healing. As long as you're punching, you're healing. But you're not always punching. Mostly in end game activity, mostly in high level content, it's probably not the best idea to run up to just a bunch of enemies trying to heal because they're just not going to let you do that. So having that extra recovery or that fast recovery to just chill back a little bit, come back full health and maybe go in for a punch after it definitely comes in handy on this build. But if you don't care about recovery, then just go for strength. And then after that, I recommend discipline. So for me, resilience, recovery, discipline. But if you don't care for recovery, go with resilience, discipline and then strength. But again, because of the chain of abilities that we got going on with our armor, you don't really need that much strength. But again, it's all up to you. Moving on to the helmet. For the helmet, we have Harmonic Siphon because we're using arc weapons. It's going to allow us to make arc orbs and picking up arc orbs are going to allow us to get our grenade energy related to another mod in our build. Uh, some people might not have this mod, but this is Bountiful Well. It allows us to duplicate mods that are not allowed to be duplicated so for example if you have two melee well makers now you can allow them to work together or three melee wakers four melee well makers so it allows them to work together and it'll give you even extra wells if you don't have this mod it can be easily replaced with elemental ordinance if you don't have it which is going to you know give you wells when you use your grenades but i'm using i don't know i, I haven't really decided if i want to use that or um uh bountiful wells so i'm going back and forth and trying to see what i like better 
moving on to the arms uh we got rocking uh we're rocking the font of might and that means as long as we pick up arc wells or wells that match our subclass is going to allow us to do 25 percent bonus damage on our arc weapons so it comes in handy with golden tricorn here you can put whatever you want i'm just using a you know overload mod but this can be switched at any given time to whatever you want it could be your melee could be, i think I, I'll, I'll go with grenades to be honest that way because your grenades help you get back your class i believe the way they tag everybody moving on to the chest piece I, I really like rocking this it helps to resist um we have elemental armament since we are really using our arc weapon all the time it's going to make us uh wells and those wells are going to buff up our the recharge of our abilities and you know keep the cycle going moving on to the boots for the boots like always i like to have the picking up orbs give me grenades because i normally play with people or if i'm not playing with people there's always orbs on the floors from other supers and it gives me back my grenades and the grenades are pretty strong on the art class uh we have a melee well maker so for my shoulder charge whenever i'm punching people in knockout it's gonna make wells i'm uh, moving on finally to the class ability and for the class ability we were rocking outreach and this is whenever we use our class ability it gives us um melee energy here we have special furniture which i don't know why it's really on here it should be on this one and then finally we have seeking wells uh, this is a mod from the artifact, which is really not important, but it just I had extra space. So I was like, you know, why not? Between these two, I could put on the champion one or I could put on the amped up, which allows me to stay amplified a little longer. But again, that's not really that important. So moving on to the actual class abilities, uh, we have low shield for PVE. We have strafe lift for jumping. We use shoulder charge most of the time, but I like to try to see what I can do with this one with the new thunderclap melee storm grenades definitely a must storm grenades are really really good right now in the game so make sure you you know switch on to storm grenades moving on to the aspects this is what's really helping golden tricorn stay active all the time because as long as you have a knockout active your melee counts as an arc ability and as long as you have an arc ability that means you can reactivate golden tricorn and also reload your weapon that's why this combination is so good on the arc titan on top of that you are healing so just very very nice setup we can also set it up so you can get more damage out of your melee but again you could switch your mods around you can move things around nothing is set in stone not everybody has the mods not everybody has the exact setups i love you guys in the comments that like to argue this is better this is worse this is better not everybody has the same mods not everybody have all the mods unlocked not everybody play the exact same way there's a lot of viable options i'm giving you what i think is the best for me and that's why i'm giving out to you guys i'm always willing to listen to input and what people say in the comments but when you come out and say yo this is the only way this is the one way this is the best way um i don't know when i put it in the title you know best build on the planet it's just my best build on the planet it doesn't mean it is the only one i mean just because you take the title however you want it but this is you know my best build the next ability we have is touch of thunder and to be honest the main reason this is here is because it gives us extra fragment um but what it's really doing is for storm, storm grenades after detonating it creates a roaming thunder cloud that tracks nearby targets and fires bolts of lightning at foes beneath it. Moving on to the fragments because of the grenades are so good and jolting targets is so good. And I believe an end game content is going to be much better like GMs and master nightfalls. Uh, definitely have jolting targets on your grenades or even on your abilities if you can. I, I, I'm not sure what class it is, but you can jolt targets with your class with your, your arc ability. So definitely make sure you have that on. I believe it's the hunter because of the grenades being so good i want them to stay uh linger longer so i'm not sure if this is the best brick to have here but that's the one i decided to go with because of storm grenades being so good uh melee hits greatly increase your reload speed for a short time not really needed but it's so nice to have you can switch this up to whatever you want but whenever you don't have your melee ability whenever you don't get knockout which is kind of rare but there is times where there's no enemies in front of you to punch or you defeat that target by mistake and you have to reload the weapon and to be honest it's horrible but this can be easily replaced with anything that's what i'm saying you guys nothing is set in stone depending on what game mode you're playing depending on what ability you're doing i mean depending on what activity you're doing everything changes but this one can be easily switched that whenever you're critically wounded you even recharge your abilities even faster but again, like I said, the reloading, I don't know, it seems to be very nice on the SMG when when it goes away and I don't I don't have like I mean, that's the thing. You can activate knockout whenever. All you have to do is to punch the timing. So to be honest, that perk is really not needed on this build. So you can switch it out to this one. 
Finally, taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage. Also, not needed on the build, but it gives us extra resilience and it outputs our melee damage if we get hit. But again, can't be can be switched out to whatever you think is important and useful. The main thing about this arc build really is the fact that you can knock out, have unlimited uh, arc abilities. That means you can unlimitedly chain a uh, golden tricorn for 50% damage and automatically reload your weapon, which is why I said that reload perk over here, probably not really needed. That is it for the art class. Hope you guys did enjoy. Catch you guys later. Peace.